yeah. It's double. Double or get. Hey all, thanks for watching. This is part one of our uh, Thanksgiving feast. We are making turake cutlets, turkey cutlets. And uh, so what we're gonna use is, uh, right here we got some golden beets as well as some cauliflower. And that's gonna be the base. And if you don't have a golden or yellow beets, what we can also use is some carrots or a combination of both. Next, we need to stick that all together with something. And so what we have here is some sun-dried tomatoes, some raisins, and some dried mango. So I'm going to put that over here as well. And next, what we're going to also be adding to it are some herbs and spices. So we've got sage, thyme, got some celery salt in here which uh, you can check my other video on that it's just drying celery and turning it into a powder a, a salt replacement and we also have some cumin in here and poultry seasoning as well and you might think what's poultry seasoning does that have chicken in it no um, poultry seasoning is basically a combination of dried herbs, it's got parsley, sage, might have some onion powder, some black pepper in there, and it's just a, a combination of, of spices, the pre-made spice. And now we are off to step one. I've obviously already pre-cut all of this to save on time, so now we're going to go over to the food processor and we're going to show you how to blend this all up. So on to the food processor. I will try not to turn my back to you as much as possible. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Now you're probably thinking, hey, you haven't told me any of the, uh, the amounts, you know, how much of this or that do I put in. Don't worry, the website's gonna have all of the uh, amounts. So what we're gonna do is using the S-blade, put in our dried mango, our raisins, and our sun-dried tomato. And using the S-blade, we're just gonna let that run until it turns into like a dough-like ball. But here we go. And the raisins, they do like to, to stick to the sides. So we're just going to scrape it all off the sides. Everything's really well mixed. And then we're gonna add everything else in. At this point, we can add our herbs and spices. I'm just gonna pour that right onto the, uh, the mixture there. And then what I'm going to do is put on the, uh, the shredding attachment with the S-blade still in the bottom. If your food processor cannot do that, what you're gonna have to do is pre-shred your, your beets or carrots and then add them in to, uh, to this stage here. The, the shredded uh, consistency of the beets helps it all stick together. So we're gonna go ahead and plop some beets in here and get shredded. Just gonna keep on scraping the stuff off of the sides and mixing it together.
looking like a good consistency here. I'm also going to add a couple of the uh, little cauliflower florets. Just for some different consistency, and texture, and color. Awesome. And so now we've got everything in there. And what we want to do is uh, keep everything moving so we don't get anything that's too over processed and other parts that are not processed at all. So here's my uh, ultra top secret food processing technique. Take a look at it, and it does sort of uh, stick together and hold a shape, and that's what we're looking for. So we are done with the food processing, and we're going to put it on the dehydrated trays. And so here we are with the, uh, the last sort of step here. We're going to assemble and shape our uh, Turaki fillets, and then we're going to pop them in the dehydrator. So, I've taken the uh, liberty to put our uh, mixture here onto the trays. And all we're going to do is kind of flatten it out and shape it however you want it. I'm going to make two uh, larger ones. You could make four or five or six smaller ones. Or you could uh, increase the recipe and the sky's the limit. Um, the amount that I kind of made, which I will uh, put in more detail on the website, is pretty close to uh, the, the amount that you'd want to max out on uh, in the food processor. You can put it a bit more in, but the, if it gets too full, it's not going to move around so well with such a sticky sort of uh, mixture. And so all I'm doing is kind of shaping it into some sort of whatever a Taraki looks like. I don't know. And then I'm going to take the other sheet without the, uh, the non-stick sheet on it, put it on top. And here's the patented double organic flip. Got to get that inertia going, up and over, and we have flipped the bird. <laughs> so now I'm going to pop these in the dehydrator. These will take about 8 to 10 hours at somewhere between 105 and 115 or 118 degrees Fahrenheit. And when they're done, I will show you what the finished product looks like. You could uh, make this up to this step the night before, or maybe even up to two days before. I prefer my food fresher. And uh, then you take this out of the fridge, put it in the dehydrator in the morning, and then you have nothing to worry about for dinner except maybe a side salad or a little sauce or something. More coming on our sauces for our Thanksgiving feast. So this is how you make nut-free, raw vegan, Taraki fillets. Double organic stuff. No overt fats. Hope you enjoy them. Peace. Oh yeah, it's Double Organic. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. We've got epic recipes for you. Fitness and raw food motivation. Connect with me on Facebook and Instagram. You won't regret it. Stay tuned for more.